Last time we showed you guys a kickproof TV, it was a purpose built one with a kickproof screen protector built into the front of it. But unfortunately, the image quality wasn't that great. Thankfully, we are back at it again. This time, oh, with a kickproof screen protector that can be installed on any 55 inch TV. Now, here's the thing. A screen protector is generally designed to prevent incidental scuffs and scratches, like when you've got your phone and your keys in the same pocket at the same time because you're some sort of monster. But it is also possible for a screen protector to have some impact resistance. Dbrand's Prism series, for example, has excellent impact resistance as we have tested ourselves. Now, I'm not saying the screen protector in here is anything like a Dbrand Prism. I'm just saying that it's not impossible that having like a, an impact spreading layer in the front could help prevent the glass in the front or the LCD panel behind it from being cracked if it were struck by something. As for my confidence level in all of this, well, to give you some idea guys, I went out of my way to choose the cheapest 55 inch display in our entire studio because I don't think it's going to live to the end of this video. You know what else might not live? My segue to our sponsor, Honey. Honey is the free browser extension that helps you find the best deals on popular websites like Amazon, Best Buy, eBay, and more. Get it today at joinhoney.com slash LTT. <laughs> Unfortunately, our resident expert Chinese translator, Andy, is in self-isolation right now, so we're gonna have to settle for our second stringer. So this one is... Um, See, this is what I'm talking about. L, L, I want Andy L, back. L, LED, LCD, LCD um, shell, shell, shell. Uh, protect your shell, uh, protect your TV screen shell. Okay. Does it say what it's made of or anything like that? No, just to be careful, put this side up. What does that mean? I have no idea. The sun shines outside your it house. It is solar power. I actually have very little idea what to expect. I mean, this is definitely not something I expected. Uh, oh boy. Um, did we buy a two-pack? Did it say anything about two-pack on the packaging? Like that he's still alive? I cracked myself up. I think this is two matching sets of mounting hardware, but it's like an elastic band. Some plastic things here, and like, what are these? I assumed this QR code would be a link to a manual or something? Unfortunately, it seems to be just a link to download WeChat. Honestly, it doesn't seem like a screen protector at all. It just seems like a normal piece of glass. This is really not what I expected at all. Okay. Uh, how on earth are you expected to install this? Oh, wow, it's huge. So it's not just the size of the panel itself. It's the size of the entire front of the TV. Interesting. Let's start with what we know for sure, and then we can eliminate possibilities that way. This has to go here. There's just no way it goes anywhere else. The thing I really don't understand is why does it only attach on the one side here? And of course, I'm short some mounting hardware. There can't be only three of these. There's only two options. There has to be either two of something to go with the straps or four of something. So there's two, Wait, why are there three of those? There's only three of the clear screws in this one too. How could you possibly have two of everything else and three clear screws? Unless they just know they're crappy and they expect it to break or something? What is even going on here? Wait, wait. The clear ones must be because it's meant to go on the front of the glass. So maybe there's three holes. So one, Two. A revelation from my camera operator. You have to scan the QR code 
in WeChat. Wait, what is this? Th this isn't helpful. Okay, here we go. So from the chat, I just go to their profile and then moments. And in here, there's a guide. Oh, wow, thank you. What easy to find most excellent, wonderful instructions these are. I think there's just an extra washer just for lulls. Oh. Well, why didn't I think of that? Look, ladies and gentlemen, it's very straightforward. You take the clear screw, you put the plastic washer on it, you stick it through the hole like that, then you take another plastic washer, you put it on the back of there, and then you screw that into the front of the bracket. How intuitive and secure. Oh my goodness, I just noticed. It's directional. One end of this bracket is longer than the other. I gotta turn it around. You know, hanging the entire weight of this glass panel off this elastic strap doesn't seem that great. Actually, no, now that I think of it, um, a lot of the weights hanging off of these brackets at the top held in place by a clear plastic bolt. <laughs> okay, here it goes. So we got our brackets on the top. Ooh. We got our straps on the bottom. Okay, so it hangs off the TV. A little something like that. Aight, aight. All right, I'm with you so far. Come around back here. I managed to get this right. The long bolts are to secure the glass against the TV. Oh, if you had a super thin TV, it actually might not be long enough. I don't think, no offense, if you're putting something like this on your TV that you have a super thin, like high-end TV though. And here it is, the coup de grace. Okay, in the video they put it on here. They just hang it off the back of the bolt. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna go one step better. We're gonna put it on the inside there, so it at least has a harder time slipping off. So do you want to rage out at it? Yeah. Let's do a controller throw, shall we? Controller throw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah. Don't get COVID. You gotta sanitize after. But okay, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. Uh, I would get go a little bit wider. But wait, hold on. Um, I actually have very little faith that this is gonna work. We should both be wearing eye protection. One sec. <laughs> Here's some splooge. For just put that on the glasses. There you go. Oh, okay. See, I haven't left my house in two weeks, so I don't really know all these procedures yet. <laughs> all I know is wear the mask. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, show me your gamer rage. That controller means nothing to me. It's a Nyko Bluetooth controller. Yeah. 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 Save the TV. Oh yeah, that's, wait. No, that looks like Is that where you hit it? I don't know. I mean, there's some nicks in the TV. Yeah, all right. I mean, it's a lot better than if you had thrown it directly at the TV. I mean, based on how much of that kinetic energy turned into shattered glass, I would say the controller probably survived. Yeah, all the plastic has cracked the housing. You're back on set for literally five <laughs> minutes and you managed to shower me in shards of glass. <laughs> and we destroyed a controller. Everything makes sense. Thanks, Luke. No worries. All right. Air bump. Oh, nice. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Is this glass still, like, settling? Can you hear the little sounds it's making? Sorry, I don't have much experience with tempered glass. Maybe that's perfectly normal. But the larger pieces are still just cracking. I haven't reviewed the clip yet, but based on what I can observe about how there's actually multiple significant scratches in the display, I think that where the controller struck it actually doesn't have much to do with where the shards of glass kind of exploded outwards and put scratches in the screen. So it seems to me that the damage was probably more from the screen protector exploding than actually from the direct impact of the controller, although one certainly caused the other. <laughs> Recommended? 
I'm gonna give it a big no on this one. Bad mounting mechanism, bad instructions, and in the event that something actually goes wrong, it sort of goes from bad to worse. Just like my segways have over the years. This video is brought to you by iFixit. Their Mahi driver kit comes loaded with a hefty quarter inch aluminum driver with a magnetic bit socket, a knurled handle for a no slip textured grip and a silky smooth swivel top. And the driver pairs with 48 quarter inch bits that are built to handle the toughest and torquiest fasteners in any home or shop project. Every bit is held in place by a laser cut foam case with a magnetized lid that doubles as a sorting tray and it's perfect for those who are prone to dropping or breaking things. Visit iFixit.com slash Linus to get your Mahi driver kit today. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out the real deal, the kickproof TV that had a built-in non-glass screen protector. Yeah, that is just regular old glass.